So this is one of the biggest reasons that I actually see delays in transactions. So I'm going to talk about what a large deposit is, the different sources, and what you can do about it to ensure a smooth transaction. So number one, what is a large deposit? A lender is going to want to know anything that is more than 50% of your qualifying income or anything over 1% of the purchase price. So the reason is because any large deposit that goes into your account, it may look like it was a loan that was not disclosed. The lender wants to know where that came from. So number two, in terms of sourcing, um, I see typically a lot of transfers between uh, people's checking and savings account, which that's fine, that's normal. A lot of people do that or um, stock sales. So they sell stock in order to use for down payment or closing costs. Um, the other one are gift funds. And the most recent one I actually saw was a buyer had to uh, send us their updated uh, stock statement because it was at the month end. And we saw thousands of dollars in there that we didn't know about. It was undisclosed, but the buyer had a side job that he uh, was getting money from. So that had to be disclosed and sourced and explained to the underwriter. But that was not something that that was really a big deal. Um, so what to do about it is just to understand this is something to expect. The lender needs to see all uh, statements two months before the transaction and also during the transaction. If you're in a purchase, that means your deposit needs to be sourced. Um, we need to show the statement where it came from, if there's any, any transfers, where it went to, where it came from. So when you know that this is to be expected, then you can better prepare for it. So don't do any unnecessary transfers if you don't need to. And if you are gonna do one, make sure you have a receipt or some kind of transaction history. And that will make sure that you have uh, fewer of those last minute conditions come up uh, unexpectedly, because now you know that the large deposits all need to be sourced. I hope you find this was helpful. If you have any other questions about large deposits specifically or any other loan question, please feel free to let me know.